Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Friday, the 5th of October 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, Asian markets down again overnight, given the fact that Mr. Pence, um, Mr. Trump's um, uh, second in. Uh, Command or the second idiot, idiot in command. Sorry, uh, really the old administration really are uh, a bunch of dunces. But again, we just have to react, folks. I think you already know my opinion. Um, bunch of uh, ignorant morons. It's probably the best way of describing the uh, the current uh, U.S. administration. Um, so again, uh, stark contrast to obviously Mr. Obama. At least he had uh, some intelligence uh, and some oratory skills as well. Um, now, in terms of um, the markets overnight, uh, uh, U.S. markets certainly selling off on the back of that as well. Uh, again, the concerns regarding the, it was a double whammy really. You already had concerns regarding yield spiking. Okay, dollar obviously rallying. And that's certainly hurting the uh, potential growth prospects for the U.S. And given the fact that we're talking about rate hikes as well going forward, that's obviously going to dent. Uh, consumer sentiment, okay. Uh, personal consumption etc and obviously uh, disposable incomes will get hit and obviously businesses the cost of businesses uh, certainly uh, to run and maintain certainly gets higher as well and thereby eating into profits which in turn obviously uh, either the prices are passed on to the consumer or certainly absorbed by the business which in turn hurts its profits so basically high rates is negative for the stock market okay uh, and that's basically where we uh, where we stand okay now um, Given the fact that Mr. Pence obviously gone out on the tack on China, that means that there's no potential deal with China or in the pipeline at all. Uh, given the fact that they've signed a deal with Mexico and Canada, one would argue that they are not currently interested at present, or that deal it's in and of itself was designed to exert even further pressure on China as well. So that's not, certainly another argument as well to take into effect. Now, tech sector certainly is getting hit. Now, the U.S. tech sector, as we all know, uh, is the, um, the key driver or has been the key driver. There's only been a few stocks that have actually uh, caused the U.S. equities to rise. And that's hence the reason why we're seeing this uh, major risk off. So you've got rising yields, stronger dollar, hurting exports. Obviously, the funding aspect of these companies certainly coming into question. Cheap credit coming into question, etc., etc. And then obviously, you've got the other argument as well in terms of uh, emerging markets and so on and so forth. Okay, So Asian markets down overnight, and that's obviously feeding into bearish news. In terms of Europe, now Europe certainly had overcome the potential uh, negative uh, argument given the uh, concerns in, in, in Italy, uh, but yet we seem to be uh, certainly moving lower on the back of this uh, news regarding uh, Trump and their so-called China war. Okay, so given the fact that Chinese uh, accusation against China really is that they've been hacking into US technology. So basically we're approaching gap fill now on the German DAX. That's basically where we stand. This morning's economic data out of Europe basically was um, relatively uh, well, positive for Germany, given the fact that their factory orders certainly came in stronger than expected. Uh, and in terms of France, uh, relatively okay. Uh, imports certainly increased, exports increased. Well, the trade balance numbers came in slightly weaker than expected. Okay, so uh, Spanish industrial output as well that certainly came in stronger than expected. Okay, UK house prices came in came in weaker. So bear that in mind. Now, in terms of the German DAX at the moment, daily chart certainly is uh, moving lower on the back of obviously given the fact that its, it's relationship with the Nasdaq and its uh, sensitivity to the Nasdaq. The German DAX, as you can see now, we are coming into support, coming into gap fill here. Uh, okay, so you've got gap fill support twelve one sixty. Uh, watch out for support there okay so 10 minute chart again from my perspective certainly coming into support here okay looking to uh, potentially bounce if you break that then obviously you got gap fill below at 12158 and then obviously you got potential support at 12070 now do we go as low as that that's the question okay uh, moving on to the french crack now let's uh, have a look here now the french crack certainly is flushing today you have this approach to gap fill, so bear that in mind. You are now closing this gap here on the French CAC, looking for a potential bounce on the French CAC. In terms of the FTSE 100, given the fact that sterling certainly has risen, uh, obviously a stronger dollar as well, certainly hurting FTSE from that perspective. Uh, potential Brexit deal, a Brexit scenario, uh, certainly improving, and that's causing sterling to move higher, which in turn obviously exerts pressure on FTSE. U.S. equities certainly obviously exerting pressure as well, given the fact that you've got stronger dollar. Stronger dollar hurts commodities. 
copper lower, oil prices lower as well. So certainly all the factors for the FTSE certainly indicate lower. 60 minute chart, I was expecting a bounce off to 200 MA back up to 7450. Given the fact that we bounced overnight in a US equities and that unfortunately hasn't transpired, so bear that in mind. Okay, the next potential support. Now already we're in um, no man's land at the moment in terms of the technical picture. So that's hence the reason why I need a 10 point stop. So I've got stopped out minus 10. Now again, if we do flush, there's an area that I'm certainly looking at, which is currently at uh, looking at uh, 7367. That's an area that I certainly will be looking to go long. Okay, that certainly is gap fill, and that certainly is an argument to bounce. Okay, given the fact that you've got an unfilled gap above like 7510, so bear that in mind. 7430 and 7450 certainly are the key to uh, resistance zones above, so watch out there too. Okay, so uh, that's already is a summation in terms of European equities. Uh, last but not least, as always, is Euro stocks. I was expecting this key support to hold at 3370, that's failed thus far. Okay. Uh, the next potential support is seen at 3350 uh, and potentially uh, seen below at 3330 so let's keep an eye on the the euro stocks as well okay on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs certainly take advantage of the bonus there be sure to visit trade signal download the latest app goodbye now.